When approaching a school bus stopped with its stop arm extended, drivers should a. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. b. Honk their horn before passing the bus on its left. c. Continue driving when they think most kids are probably done exiting the bus. d. Pass the bus before its door opens. a. Come to a complete stop and wait to proceed. When approaching a stopped school bus that is using its stop signal, a driver is required to come to a complete stop. They should not proceed until the stop arm is withdrawn. If you see this sign above your lane, you a. may not exit the freeway. b. may either continue through the interchange or exit the freeway from your current lane. C may stay in your lane and continue through the interchange. D. Must exit the freeway, if you stay in your current lane. D. Must exit the freeway, if you stay in your current lane. If a yellow panel with the message, exit only, is on a highway sign, the lane below the sign will not continue through the interchange. Instead, the lane will go off of the roadway to form a ramp. If you are in a lane directly under an exit only sign, you may change lanes to move through the interchange or you must exit the highway. Two solid white lines painted across a traffic lane show the boundaries of a crosswalk. As a driver, you should know that a motor vehicles have the right of way over pedestrians in crosswalks. B when pedestrians are in crosswalks, they should be given the right of way. C. No one has the right of way in a crosswalk. D. Pedestrians are responsible to stay out of the way of all traffic. B. When pedestrians are in crosswalks, they should be given the right of way. Crosswalk lines show pedestrians where to safely cross a road or street. Crosswalks may be marked by horizontal lines, vertical lines, or a combination of the two. You must always stop for pedestrians who are in a crosswalk. Railroad crossings should always be considered a. safe to cross, as it is unlikely that a train will be coming. b. dangerous. c. safe locations to park a car. d. A place where it is required to stop. B. Dangerous. Railroad crossings are always dangerous. Drivers should always look and listen for trains approaching from either direction on all railroad tracks. Always follow the directions indicated by signs, signals, and flaggers. Never proceed past a railroad crossing until you are certain it is safe to do so. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When driving in fog, A. Use your parking lights. B. Use your low beams. C. Use your high beams. D. It makes no difference which lights you use. B. Use your low beams. You should use low beam headlights when driving in fog, rain, or snow. How far ahead of their vehicles should drivers scan the entire driving scene? A. 10 seconds ahead. B. 2 seconds ahead. C. As far ahead as possible. D. 5 seconds ahead. C. As far ahead as possible. Scan the road as far ahead of your vehicle as possible. Scanning the road ahead helps you identify potential hazards before encountering them and may help you avoid making last-second moves. When you see this sign, it means A. There is an object on the roadway. B. Traffic is coming from the right. C. 
The road is curving sharply to the left. D. There is a merge point ahead. C. The road is curving sharply to the left. Chevron signs like this indicate that the road curves sharply in the direction indicated by the chevron, in this case, to the left. There may be several chevron signs placed throughout a curve. If two drivers arrive at the same time to an open intersection, A. The driver on the right has the right of way. B. The driver on the left has the right of way. C. One driver may continue driving without stopping. D. One driver should honk to indicate that they are giving up the right of way. A. The driver on the right has the right of way. If you arrive to an open intersection at the same time as a vehicle to your right, you should yield the right of way to that vehicle. You may then proceed when it is safe to do so. Seat belts are most effective when they are worn by A. The person driving the car. B. Passengers when they are on a long drive. C. All occupants of a car being driven on an expressway. D. All occupants of a car every time the car is driven. D. All occupants of a car every time the car is driven. When you drive, make sure each person in your vehicle wears a seat belt. In the event of a crash, a person without a seat belt becomes a flying object and a danger to each person in the vehicle. Which of the following about winter driving is not true? A. Winter is the most difficult driving season. B. Checking your vehicle's antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels is especially important during the winter. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. D. It is best to use snow tires on your vehicle. C. Using cruise control in winter weather is a safe thing to do. You should not use cruise control on snow, in rain, in fog, or under similar hazardous conditions. Winter is the most difficult driving season and requires extra caution from drivers. It is important to consistently check your antifreeze and windshield washer fluid levels. Using snow tires can increase a vehicle's traction on the surface of slippery roads. Increasing your vehicle's speed. A. Increases your field of vision. B. Decreases your field of vision. C. Makes it easier to see cross traffic. D. Has no effect on your field of vision. B. Decreases your field of vision. The faster you drive, the smaller your field of vision becomes. As your speed increases and your field of vision decreases, you must be extra alert to potential hazards. This road sign means A. Keep right. B. Keep left. C. Pass with caution. D. No passing. A. Keep right. This sign indicates that a divided highway begins ahead. The road splits into two one-way roadways separated by a median or divider. You must keep to the right. Blood alcohol content BAC depends on each of the following, except A. Your body weight. B. How much you drink. C. How much time passes between drinks. D. How physically fit you are. D. How physically fit you are. Your blood alcohol content BAC depends on how much alcohol you drink, how much time passes between drinks, and your weight. It is not affected by the type of alcoholic beverages you drink, your level of physical fitness, or how well you can hold your liquor.
If another driver cuts you off in traffic, you should a. Pull next to the driver and yell at them. b. Let it go. c. Flash your high beams at the driver. d. Get back at the other driver by cutting them off. b. Let it go. To avoid the dangers of road rage, you should never take it personally if another driver cuts you off in traffic. Just let it go and continue driving safely. When driving to an unfamiliar area, you a. should depend on road signs to find your way. b. should plan your trip in advance. c. only have to know generally where your destination is. d. should always choose the most direct route. b. should plan your trip in advance. When driving to an unfamiliar area, plan your trip in advance. Don't start with only a hazy idea of where you are going. If your destination is in an unfamiliar area, check the location on a map before you start to drive. This road sign means A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. B. U-turns are prohibited. C. You may proceed if the way is clear. D. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. A. You are about to enter a one-way street from the wrong direction. If you drive past these signs, you are going the wrong way and are at risk of a head-on collision. You should cautiously turn around. When approaching a steady yellow traffic light, Drivers should a. Accelerate to avoid a red light. b. Continue driving, as they have the right of way. c. Slow to a stop, unless they are already within the intersection. d. Check to see what the cars next to them are doing. c. Slow to a stop, unless they are already within the intersection. A steady yellow traffic light indicates that a red light is about to appear. Stop unless you are already within the intersection. A solid yellow line on your side of the center line means A. Slow down. B. Pass with caution. C. Do not pass. D. Keep right on hills. To avoid collisions with vehicles in your blind spots, you should a. Quickly turn your head to see if your blind spot is clear before changing lanes. b. Adjust your rearview mirrors every few minutes. c. Honk your horn right before turning or changing lanes. d. None of the above. a. Quickly turn your head to see if your blind spot is clear before changing lanes. Before turning or changing lanes, turn your head and glance over your shoulder in the direction of your move to see if your blind spot is clear. Never rely on your mirrors alone. To prevent hydroplaning, you should a. Ensure that your tires have good tread depth. b. Ensure that your tires are properly inflated. c. Reduce your speed when driving in the rain. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. To prevent hydroplaning, you should ensure that the tires on your vehicle have good tread depth and are inflated to the proper pressure. Reduce the speed of your vehicle when driving in the rain. Hydroplaning occurs most frequently at higher speeds. To ensure that your physical condition does not cause you to drive in an unsafe manner, you should a. Keep physically fit and have regular physical examinations. b. Know the effect of any medicine on your driving ability. c. Drive within your physical limitations. d. All of the above.
Your brake lights tell other drivers that you A. Are making a turn B. Have your emergency brake on C. Are changing lanes D. Are slowing down or stopping D. Are slowing down or stopping Your vehicle's brake lights indicate to other drivers that you are slowing down or stopping. Your brake lights should always be in working order when you are driving on any roadway. An end school zone sign indicates a that the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. B the beginning of a reduced speed zone. C the increased possibility of encountering pedestrians. D the end of a reduced speed zone. D. The end of a reduced speed zone. Do not exceed the school zone speed limit during indicated times. The end of a reduced speed school zone will be indicated by an end school zone regulatory sign. When driving on an interstate, A. Stop on the shoulder of the road if you are tired. B. You should always use cruise control. C. Signal, check mirrors, and check blind spots before changing lanes. D. You should change lanes often. You are driving on the roadway and hear a siren behind you. You should. A. Stop where you are. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Speed up to get out of the way. D. Slow down. B. Pull over to the right and stop. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an emergency vehicle coming from behind your vehicle, you must create a clear path for the emergency vehicle and stop. Reduce your speed and safely pull over to the side of the road. If the emergency vehicle is directly behind your vehicle when you are in heavy traffic, Keep moving slowly until you can get out of its way. This sign means A. U-turns are prohibited. B. U-turns are permitted. C. Winding road ahead. D. Sharp left turn ahead. A. U-turns are prohibited. A regulatory sign displaying a red circle with a red slash through the middle indicates that a specific action is prohibited. U-turns are not permitted where this sign is posted. This sign means A. Stop sign ahead. B. Lane closed ahead. C. Railroad crossing ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. You are driving in the left lane and want to move into the right lane. You should A. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over your left shoulder for other vehicles before changing lanes. B. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over your right shoulder for other vehicles before changing lanes. C. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over both shoulders for other vehicles before changing lanes. D. Check your mirrors, signal, and change lanes. B. Check your mirrors, signal, and look over your right shoulder for other vehicles before changing lanes. When changing lanes, you should check your vehicle's blind spots by looking over your shoulder in the direction that you want to move. Always check your mirrors and turn on your directional signal before beginning a lane change. You may cross double solid yellow lines. A. To pass a slow moving truck. B. To turn into a driveway. C. To pass another car. D. Under no conditions. Two solid yellow lines on the pavement mean. A. Passing is allowed for drivers from both directions. B. Passing is not allowed. C. Passing is allowed if you are at the top of a hill. D. Passing is allowed during daylight only.
B. Passing is not allowed. Yellow lines tell you that the traffic on the other side of the lines is moving in the opposite direction. You should never cross two solid yellow lines to pass from either direction. Regulatory signs are usually fill in the blank and should always be obeyed. A. White. B. Blue. C. Green. D. Orange. A. White. Regulatory signs regulate the movement of traffic. They are usually white with black markings and must always be obeyed by motorists. Crossbuck signs indicate A. Railroad crossings. B. School zones. C. No passing zones. D. Hospitals. A. Railroad crossings. Crossbuck signs tell drivers to yield to trains at a railroad crossing. Drivers should not try to outdrive a train. Signs that are colored orange are A. Work zone signs. B. Regulatory signs. C. School zone signs. D. Guide signs. A. Work zone signs. Highway work zones are established according to the type of work underway along the roadway. Signs in work areas are typically diamond-shaped, orange, have black letters or symbols, and serve as a warning that people are working on or near the highway. What is a, no zone? A. A designated no passing zone. B. A one-way traffic area. C. The blind spot of a large vehicle. D. An area designated for motor vehicles. C. The blind spot of a large vehicle. No zones, are the large blind spots around trucks and other large vehicles. Drivers of smaller vehicles should avoid lingering in, no zones. Double solid yellow lines painted down the middle of the road mean A. Railroad crossing ahead B. Pedestrian crossing ahead C. Passing is not permitted from either direction D. Passing is permitted from either direction C. Passing is not permitted from either direction Double solid yellow lines in the center of the road mean that passing is not allowed from either direction. You may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn or passing pedestrians, bicyclists, and riders of scooters or skateboards when the opposite lane is clear and you can pass safely.